First day of the strike and the country is already feeling its impact. Government offices have remained shut as workers chose to stay home. Public schools have been closed as well. And there's a total blackout across the country as striking workers have now shut down the national power grid. This is a scene at the entrance of the domestic terminals of the ever-busy airport in Lagos. Aviation workers barricaded the entry points, preventing passengers from gaining access. All domestic flights have been grounded. This is just the beginning of it. For example, here in aviation, we are, today we are just doing only domestic, only the domestic terminals. By tomorrow, it will go to the international terminal. And so you don't know how else it will go. The unions are demanding a new national minimum wage of 494,000 naira, which is just over $300 at current rates. The government and private sector employers say they can only afford an increment of around $50. The last three, four months has been tough and Nigerians are waiting for us uh, to give them a wage that at least could um, assist them in paying transportation to work could feed them, could house them, and clothe them. These are the basic necessity of life. Not even a wage to buy a car or a wage to build a house. This amount that labor has asked for is like uh, paying a cumulative of uh, 9.5 trillion naira to only 1.2 million Nigerians. This is a country of over 200 million people, and others also deserve other service of government. We have roads to fix, we have hospitals to build, we have education system to, uh, to fix. Uh, the federal government is very sensitive to the demand of labor. We will also call on labor to see reason, to see reason and toy the part of the federal government. The leadership of the country's parliament had made a last ditch effort to stave off the strike, meeting with the leadership of the labor unions on Sunday. But the unions have refused to back down on the strike. For now, we don't have the powers to call off the industrial action, so the industrial action will continue while we would have a conversation with our respective organs as soon as possible to lay bare what they have put forward and what they have proposed. Everyone is waiting for the outcome of uh, that meeting that the labor union leadership talked about there. It's still not known if any of the sides in the minimum wage negotiation will be willing to shift ground. But if the negotiation continues to remain deadlocked as it is at the moment, then things can only get worse for the economy for as long as the strike lasts. Deji Badimasi, CGTN, Lagos, Nigeria.